let me show it diagrammatically. This is the placenta, right? So this is the placenta. This is the maternal circulation, maternal blood, and this is the fetal circulation or fetal blood. Remember that calcium transmission, calcium transfer from mother to fetus occurs actively. So active calcium transport occurs from maternal uh, circulation to the fetal circulation and this transmission is maximally seen in the third trimester. Particularly third trimester, you find that high levels of calcium are transmitted from the maternal circulation to the fetal circulation and it is an active process. What, uh, in fact, uh, NNF guidelines say that up to 80% transmission occurs in the third trimester alone. 20% in the first two trimesters and 80% happens in the third trimester. And what is the ratio if somebody asks you? The ratio of mother to fetal calcium levels is in the range of 1 ratio 1.14. So it is higher in a fetus as compared to mother especially in the last trimester. Why does the calcium is needed in the last trimester? Because uh, ossification of the skeletal system in the fetus reaches its peak in the third trimester and that is why there is an active calcium transmission which is happening and, and here comes your MCQ point which is a question which has been asked in the past super speciality exam. What is the most important factor? What is the most important factor controlling mother to fetus calcium transfer? Is it vitamin D level? Absolutely not. Is it PTH levels? Not entirely true because PTH in the mother does not cross the placenta. Is it calcitonin levels? Calcitonin levels are high in the fetus but they are from fetal own production and they the mother calcitonin levels are again not crossing it. The most important factor which is controlling this transfer according to Nelson also it is PTHRP. What is PTHRP? It stands for parathyroid hormone related peptide. So it is analog, it is a related peptide which is produced from the parathyroid gland which is responsible for this. So remember it is not PTH, it is not the parathyroid hormone, it is the PTHRP. PTHRP is more famous or I would say infamous for causing the hypercalcemia in malignant disorders. But PTHRP is also useful thing. It is involved in mother to child active transport. So remember mother to child active transport mostly produced by this. And if somebody asks you what is the least important one, vitamin D plays least important role. Re vitamin D becomes important postnatally. So uh, you can remember, you can put it somewhere on the side that vitamin D has least role in fetal calcium transfer. So this point is already mentioned in most of the uh, review articles as well, right? So PTHRP, some points that you need to remember for the exam. Full form of PTHRP, we have already done. PTHRP is coded normally. It is coded in everyone uh, by a gene present on short arm of chromosome 12. So 12P. PTHRP shows homology. It is homologous to the parathyroid hormone in the first 13 amino acids present on the amino terminal in the child. So it is homologous, but it does not perform the same function. It has its own receptors where it acts. Nelson says, Nelson says that the levels of PTHRP, levels of PTHRP, uh, they are three times higher in cord blood than adult patients. Right. Also, Nelson says that if levels of PTHRP are very low, that can affect the fetal as well as neonatal skeletal maturation and sometimes can even be lethal also. 
right various types of rare skeletal deformities can be produced where there are genetic abnormalities causing absence of pthrp and the question can be asked what produces pthrp pthrp is endogenously produced pthrp is produced by the fetal parathyroid gland so these are some of the points that you should remember so to summarize what is happening in the fetus is fetus is growing first two trimesters not much calcium is getting transferred third trimester fetus now needs to build its bones so what happens is the fetus starts producing the fetal parathyroid gland starts producing large amount of pthrp this pthrp produces a active gradient where the mother's calcium is transferred to the fetus the ratio uh, is as high as 1 is to 1.14 that is it is slightly higher in case of fetus compared to the mother and in the fetus you will find that values close to 10 to 11 mg per deciliter are attained just before delivery so these high levels are maintained by pthrp